Hey everyone, welcome to Wit Code. In this video, we're going to learn what a Chrome Extension Service Worker is. So a Chrome Extension Service Worker is an extension's central event handler. They respond to events such as closing a tab, network calls, navigating to a new web page, things like that. They are loaded when they are needed and unloaded when they are not. In other words, they are run as long as they are receiving events. So for example, in my Chrome extension, with Scepter right here, I use service workers to make all these API calls, so things like this. I use them to respond to events such as when someone installs the extension for the first time and all this stuff. Service workers are essentially can do tons for Chrome extensions. However, it's important to note that service workers are run in a worker context, which means they cannot access the DOM. In fact, service workers run on their own thread, so they won't block the main thread that does interact with the DOM. And because of this, service workers perform non-blocking operations and are completely asynchronous. And so because of their asynchronous nature, this is also why I would use them in my Chrome extension, for example, to capture network requests. So say you go to witcode.com. Right now when I'm catching all these requests, this is all being done with service workers and happening in the background. To work with Chrome extension service workers, they first need to be registered. So let's go back to here and we have our code set up. And to register them, we need to provide a single JavaScript file to the service worker key. So in our manifest.json file, we have background, and then we just need to provide a JavaScript file to service worker. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this location to be source-background-index.js, which is this file right here. So here in our manifest.json, we are telling Chrome that we have a JavaScript file called index.js that will be ran in the background and as a and is a service worker. But next, let's talk about the service worker lifecycle. So Chrome extension service workers follow a lifecycle, and the main steps of this cycle are installation, startup, and shutdown. And it is useful to know these events as we can tap into them and perform tasks at the appropriate time. For example, during the installation stage, the uninstalled event is fired. And this event is fired when the extension is first installed updated to a new version, or when Chrome is updated to a new version. Therefore, this event is a great spot to do some one-time initialization, such as set a uninstall URL, things like that, or maybe add a user to a database, just things like that. Another example is the on startup event. So let me replace this with on startup, and this event is fired when the user's profile that has the extension installed starts up. So Chrome profiles such as, right now I'm logged into mine here, and then finally, we have the idle and shutdown stage. So shutdown and also idle stage of the service worker. And so in these stages, essentially service workers are dormant until an event is fired. So when an event is fired, the service worker handles the event, if it has the appropriate, the appropriate handler, and then goes dormant again. So for example, you might be able to see in here, we have service worker inactive, inactive. On my Chrome extension, we have one that's inactive because they haven't received any events. But if I move, say, my extension over here, and let's do something like I send it an event, I'll refresh this, we can see that our service worker is no longer inactive. But so specifically when it comes to idle and shutdown, service workers shut down after being idle for 30 seconds. So if they haven't received any events or been interacted with for 30 seconds, they will shut down. And as such, network calls initiated by a service worker that take longer than 30 seconds will fail as the service worker handling the response would be shut down. So this is something you'll need to handle if making network calls. However, any interaction with the Chrome extension API will cause this 30 second timer to reset. And now finally, let's talk about Chrome service workers and storage. So as service workers go idle, so the shutdown and idle stage, global variables will be lost when the service worker shuts down. So say we have like a count variable right here, equal to zero, and then we have like an interval or something like that that increases the count because this is a global variable and eventually our Chrome extension service worker will shut down, we will lose this state. So because of this, it's never a good idea to use the global namespace of a service worker for storage, just kind of like it is in any application really. Instead, the Chrome provides us with APIs such as the Chrome storage API, which we'd have to add more permissions, but it's something like chrome.storage. We have local session, things like that. I'll probably make a new video on that, but that's just something to note. But that's just what I wanted to show you about Chrome extension service workers. 
If you like this video, please consider downloading my Chrome extension called Wet Scepter, link in the description, leave me a good review. But besides that, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.